All right, this is uh, our hard sample one, and in this particular one, I'm going to be demonstrating a fictitious uh, Facebook ad that is trying to sell boxers um, on Facebook. We are trying to get people to buy from me in no sale quantity, and then I'm going to be using broad targeting option, which you're going to see right now, and I'm going to be targeting nationwide. All right, so let me go over to my hard manager right here. So I'm going to click on create. All right, so for my campaign objective, I'm going to be going for sales here. And I'll click on continue. All right, so here, I'm not going to waste a lot of time here. I've already broken down what all this place talks about in our last um, video so I'm just going to click on next all right so here I am in my ad set level right here of course we've also talked about this place but I'm just going to go straight to the point so here since I assume that I don't have a website as a business I'm going to be using the messaging hub and the idea here is that I want to be targeting people who will be willing to buy my boxers at wholesale quantity so what i want to do right in this particular ad is that i want to target them to come over to my whatsapp group right okay so they, they are, i'm targeting them to come to my whatsapp group and what i'm going to be doing here is that i'm going to be using a promise so i'm going to be promising them that they will be able to at least bank 100,000 naira every week. This is just an example, you know, when they do this business and I'm going to coach them, I'm going to tell them what to do, I'm going to um, tell them how to get boxers at wholesale price for very cheap, okay? So that is what I want to do with this particular hat. So right now I've picked my messaging hub, so I'm going to scroll down. Okay, of course, I have picked my Facebook page also. Okay, so here I'm going to be taking WhatsApp here. But right here, what I'm going to be doing here is that I'm going to be on ticking the Messenger, you know, app. So I'm going to be running this hat only to WhatsApp. I'm going to scroll down. Okay, I'm going to leave every other thing here. So here I am going to be using daily budget, meaning that um, every day I want to be spending um, 2,000 Naira. I think that's okay. I'm going to be spending 2,000 Naira every day to, you know, to sponsor this ad. And then this ad is going to start on this day that I am working with. And then the end date, I'm going to leave the end date closed, okay? So what's going to happen is that if probably after three days I am okay with the ad, I want to stop the ad, I will just come over to the ad and stop it, okay? So, but I'm not going to put an end date here. So that's what I'm going to do here. Then I'm going to scroll down here. All right, so for now, we cannot use the custom audiences, so let's leave that. All right, like I said, I'm going to be targeting the whole of Nigeria in this particular ad. Okay, but just as a demonstration so that you can understand. Okay, let's assume that I don't want people in, um, let's say Calabar, for example, to see this ad. I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just trying to show you. Okay, so I'm going to come here and exclude. Let me just exclude Calabar. Calabar Cross River State. Okay, I'm going to exclude. So you can see what I'm doing here. So let's assume that I want to exclude Sokoto also, for instance. I'm going to come and go to the Nigeria. Let's say I want to ex uh, exclude Bruno again. Okay, let's Bruno State, uh, sorry, Bruno State, Nigeria. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing. So that means this ad is going to run to the whole country except these three places that I've excluded from this ad. They are not going to see this. I remember I'm trying to target the whole of the country. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to do here. Then for my age, I'm going to just leave it at 18 to 65 plus what i want to do here is that i want to keep the you know, my targeting broad okay what is going to help us is that it's going to give facebook an opportunity to help me push this ad to as 
many people as possible okay this particular ad i don't want to restrict how facebook will be showing this ad and this is very important because anytime you're running an ad it is always good for you to have different variations of the same ad the first sample of an of the ad that you're going to be setting up you should try as much as possible to leave the targeting open you know you leave it open so that facebook can help you walk around it and you know see the best things that are going to work for you but for example if you restrict facebook for example maybe you make this place say 30 to 50 for instance you have restricted facebook facebook may not be able to really do a good job to help you you know broadcast this hard to as many people that need to see it. but there's an there is an exception to the rule if you're very sure that you know the exact kind of people that you want to target you are very sure about it for example maybe you're running and hard and you know that it is only the people between the ages of 30 and 40 that need to see this ad and you're very convinced and sure about it then you can actually set restrictions but if you are still trying to experiment you are still trying to figure it out it's always good for you to leave it open for facebook you know to help you do the the, the, the homework okay so for gender um it's, it's still going to be the same explanation i want to make sure that it's both male and female that are going to see this ad now look at this the setting detail targeting option is even off now anytime you're running any ad to whatsapp only you will not have the opportunity to do detail targeting okay but in another variation of this ad i'm going to show you uh, what to do to open it up so that you can do detail targeting but for now we cannot do detail targeting anytime we are choosing only whatsapp for our ad all right so i'm going to come here so here they are asking they're talking about placement okay i've already explained this also i'm going to leave it as advantage placement the same explanation is the same explanation i've given for age and gender also i want to give facebook an opportunity to you know do their thing i don't want to restrict them okay so every ad that you run the first the first ad that you run is supposed to always be an experimentation and when you are doing an experimentation you don't really want to restrict facebook you want them to do their work and then um, when you see the result, it gives you an idea of what you should be doing subsequently. So once I've set that up, I'm going to click on next. All right. So I'm going to come back to this is my hard level now. So once again, I'm going to give the hard a name. So give your hard a name. Then I'm, I'm going to scroll down. Okay. Here, remember, I'm not using Instagram. I'm using only WhatsApp. So I'm going to just scroll down. Now they're asking me manual upload or catalog. I'm going to choose manual upload because it's um, WhatsApp ad. So I'm going to use manual upload. That's what I can use. So here they're asking me if I want to use a single image of video or carousel. Now carousel is just a collection of different images that scroll okay so for example if you're selling maybe different nightgowns and you are targeting you know people individuals only okay you can use carousel but because i'm trying to do a hard that target people that want to buy in wholesale form i will be using i can use single image or video so i'm going to select single image or video for this particular one and then here they're asking me to now put in my videos or my image so what i'm going to do in this case is that if i have my image already in my computer okay so by now i expect that your image would have been ready and if it is a video you want to use your video should also have been ready whichever one you have to use either an image or a video so for what you're going to do here is just to click on this place then if it's an image you want to use you click image if it's a video you click video so i'm going to just click image okay so i want to assume that you don't have any image on facebook on, on your facebook hand yet so you're going to go to your computer you click on upload all right so you go to your computer anywhere that your you know your image is just look for the image that you have already prepared and then just click on the image and then the image is going to upload on facebook okay once the image uploads on facebook let's assume okay this is the image now so you can use any of these images that you have already uploaded in time past so uh, let me just use this as example for this particular one so i'm just going to click on this one 
and then I'm going to click on next and you see that it will you know upload itself here so once I do that I'm going to click on next okay I'm going to click on done all right so my image has been uploaded right now so the next thing to do is that I'm going to come to my primary test now before we talk about the primary test I want you to understand that anytime people come to see your Facebook you know ad there are three things that they are going to see the first is your image the second is your test and the third is your title the title of your ad and the way it works is that when people are scrolling over on your Facebook feed the first thing they are going to see is the image so you want to really make sure that your image is good it's just like you if you're on Facebook and you're scrolling what's the first thing that pops in your eye? it is the image if your image is poor if your image is dull if your image is not enticing people are not going to click on your heart so you have to use an image that is really enticing all right so once you get your image done then the next thing is that you want to just put in your test so once again after your image the next thing they are going to check is not your test the next thing they are going to check is your title so they check your image when they when the image pulls them they look at the title when the title makes sense then they go ahead to read okay so, all right so before you begin to type in your test now this is the place where everything will happen if your heart is going to succeed if your heart is going to fail this is where it's going to be because fine um we have already talked about you targeting your ideal customer now i want to assume at this point that you already have a perfect idea of the kind of people that you expect that will see this ad because it's your business okay so now you want to sell wholesale boxes to you know your customers so that they can sell at a retail price right that's what we want to do so the question is what kind of people have going to really be interested in this ad you must have an understanding of that question before you go ahead to do this okay so in this particular ad example you want to ask yourself which people are you so certain that will need this thing that you want to sell remember you're not just selling right now you're trying to tell them that okay you want to show them how they can be making nothing less than hundred thousand naira every week or maybe every month let's say every week selling on the on these and um, boxers that is the hard okay now the question is even if you have known that okay, this is what i want to type in in my heart the question is you must ask yourself which people are you expecting that when they see this kind of thing they want to stop because it is not everybody that will see this ad that wants to stop to check up what you're doing that's the truth so you want to ask which people will be interested in this ad the second question you want to ask yourself that why will anyone click on this ad okay why will anyone click on this ad so in this particular example i know that people will click on this ad because i'm trying to show them how to start a new business that will make them head 100,000 naira or more every week i know that everybody that is interested in doing business will be interested in that okay so that is my own point what is your own point you must be able to answer that question before you continue running this hard so for me i will come to my headline here i will just say make 100k or more selling boxers okay so this is what i want to make you can see my you uh, are my title here. make 100k or more selling boxers or i could even use it something like how i can say how i make okay how okay how i make 100k or more selling boxers anybody that is looking for a business to do in 2023 when they see something like this they will stop and click on it that is the truth so you can see that my 
ad title is enticing it's calling them how i make 100k or more selling boxer so once i've put in a nice um title like this i will now come back to my art test okay i don't expect you to just start writing your art test there you should have done all these things before you start so i'll come to my primary hard here and then i can now type whatever it is i want to type so i can say i started selling quality boxers in let's say 2022 and in less than two years i have banked over 500 thousand naira just doing this business okay so i can come here and say let me show you how you two can start this same business with little or no initial start up okay so what i'm going to do is that once i type in my ad test like this then i will include the link to my whatsapp group on it so i can say click this whatsapp link if you are interested and i will see you there all right so i'm just going to do this please this is just example of what i'm trying to do okay so you can see what i'm trying to do yes so when people are scrolling on their news feed they see sorry i'm not using boxers as my pictures here so let's assume this is boxers okay once they see this picture and the picture attracts them they want to look at my title how i make one of the key or more selling boxers. i say wow this thing alone will make them want to come and read what i have here so they read what i have here and then they click on that link and then they come over to my whatsapp and i can continue to now market them so you understand that it is not just doing facebook hard this using this particular sample you must have targeted and perfected how you really want to convert these guys to pay customers so when they come to your whatsapp of course you know what to do there to make sure that you start selling to them and stuff like that okay so that is how i will run this particular ad so once i do that and i'm okay with this ad and i see that everything has been well set up i'll just go ahead and click publish okay once i click publish facebook i'm going to they are going to review this ad and when they see that okay everything that i've done there is good then you can go ahead and then approve this ad and the ad can start running okay so um, one thing i want you to be careful of is that when you're running hard you have to be careful about how you make promises and you want to be clear about what you're saying because if you facebook out they are always very sensitive when people promise people money and you don't tell them how you are going to make that money okay but this is a very safe ad yeah it's not going to have any problem with facebook i know it but i'm not going to publish this ad of course because it's just an example ad so this is an example of how i can decide to run an ad all right so in the next sample i'm going to give you another style of um, facebook ad that you can run to your business and then try to get customers from facebook so if you have any questions let me know and i'll be willing to answer you thank you and i'll see you in the next one